Tom and Jerry Santa's Little Helpers is something I was really looking forward to because I have so much nostalgic love for Tom and Jerry. I say nostalgic, I'm currently also watching a lot of the cartoons that I've never seen before, but I also love Christmas films and I love animation, so this had the potential to be brilliant. And I have to say there were definitely things about it that I thought worked incredibly well. The animation style I don't love, but I have to accept that the animation style has moved on from the Hanna-Barbera days. I have to accept that this time, you know, how many, 40, 50 decades later, this is 2014 it was released, styles are going to change. Fair enough. It's not horrendously bad. Um, it's just, you know, obviously if you've grown up with Tom and Jerry and the classic cartoons, you do need to kind of shift your attention to the new animation style. It's directed by Daryl Van Kishers, who's done loads of great other animation work. And we have, well, we have a strong voice cast, but I have to say one of the voices I wish wasn't there. And I'll talk about that in a bit. But the narrative, first of all, is set mostly at Santa's workshop. It's set in the North Pole and Jerry and Tuffy are both having a, a nice time there sampling Mrs. Claus's gingerbread cookies and generally enjoying the Christmas vibes. And then Tom comes along. And needless to say, Tom is throwing a gigantic spanner in the works and causing all kinds of problems. But there's also a puppy dog character. And I don't want to say too much about that character or, or what it involves and what the purpose of it is. Because I don't want to spoil too much of the narrative. It's only, I think, 20, uh, 22 minutes according to Wikipedia. So somewhere around there once you take off the credits. And there's opportunity for teamwork with Tom, Jerry and Tuffy. Um and putting differences aside, and also just focusing on what's really important when it comes to the Christmas spirit. It is very festive, absolutely festive. The cut, There's a lot of red and green in this. We have all kinds of, um, you know, Christmas imagery absolutely everywhere. And it's gorgeous and snowy and fluffy and bright and jingly. And that aspect of it definitely worked very well. Even if I don't love the animation style, I do love how Christmassy the animation is, 100%. The narrative is interesting, it's good fun, it's maybe not that most the most predictable, which I think worked quite well, and I feel like there was some really good character development, so those aspects, it worked. As I said, we had a good voice cast. Um, we have Mark Hamill as Santa and Edie McClurg as Mrs. Claus. Uh, we have the brilliant Frank Welker. Would it be an animation without Frank Welker? I don't think so. Um, as uncredited as uh, Jingles. We also have Kath Suchi, who does a lot of really brilliant vocal work, and the vocal work here is absolutely no different in terms of quality. The voice provided is brilliant, but unfortunately, it's the voice of Tuffy. Tuffy is traditionally, whether it's Tuffy or Nibbles, traditionally a silent character, and it just didn't sit well with me with Tuffy having a voice. Nothing wrong with the actual quality of the voice acting, absolutely not, um, but it just didn't work very well for me with Tuffy having a voice. So that bit I didn't love. But that aside, apart from the fact that it's, you know, not, not as good as the classic Tom and Jerry animation style, um, at least in my, in my opinion, then it's otherwise really lovely. It's a, a nice way to have a 20 minute festive, delightful narrative with some really nice character development, a pretty decent narrative with some really good pacing and a lot of Christmas. A lot, a lot of Christmas. If you're a fan of Tom and Jerry, I'd say it's worth watching at least once.